guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, this is a indoor worm farming channel, and this is my experimental bin that I am trying to see how many inputs it takes to get to my final batch of castings. So right now, what we're looking at is 21.3 pounds, and I'll put kilograms down there below. So we're going to jump right in and I'll put below what the weight was when we left last time. In general, we've been losing about a pound and a half of water, probably. I mean, there could be carbon dioxide losses, etc. So yeah, there could be carbon dioxide losses, ammonia losses, whatever. Um, but for the most part, we have noticed that it has been moisture related. At this moment, everything looks very, very wet. I think the bubble wrap has been doing more than its job to keep this nice and moist for the worms so they can reproduce and eat properly. So I'm gonna kind of dig in here. I am seeing cocoons in here, so they are reproducing. And the worms are looking nice and wiggly. This is a mix of my uh, red wiggler and European Nightcrawler and Blue Worms that is in blue and uh, nowhere else except for this one right now. Last time we came in, we actually fed a liter of pumpkin on each side. Now I'm not seeing anything over here, maybe a few little orange flecks, uh, but now we're gonna go over to this side where we fed all of the new leaves to give them some bedding. Now put in the comments below, what do you think it's going to take in the amount of uh, inputs over the course of the next, I don't know, it's, it's been a couple of months since we started this. I'm probably gonna go all the way to spring and uh, we'll see, you know, the weight of the castings at a particular moisture and I'll, I'll check to see what percentage of moisture it is. Uh, and then we'll see what we get in the way of castings. So I have been measuring everything separately. So I've been measuring the volume of the food as well as the mass of the food and the water and the bedding. So everything should be accounted for. And then when we come in week over week, actually month over month at this point, and look in on the worms, what we're doing is seeing what did we lose as far as weight goes over the course of that time. And it's been nearly a month since we checked in on this bin. So I'll put all the numbers below, but they did eat almost all their food. They've got quite a bit in the way of uh, shredded coconut coir and leaves in here. And I do still see a little bit of potato, uh, but it looks like other than that, the moisture is doing really well, which uh, I'm going to have to drain off some of the moisture on the food that I brought down for them because I don't really think it needs it. It's quite wet. Okay, so this is what they're getting, and this should total about one gallon of food, or about four liters. And this is going to be a combination of avocado and tomato, and we'll put that on this side. Now they're actually getting the whole avocado. I had purchased some that never did ripen after about a month, so it, they might have been picked a little bit too early or something. So we're going to put that over on that side, and then the rest of the gallon of food we'll put back over on this side. And then we will weigh what everything is next. Yes, I did forget to weigh this separately, but with a little bit of worm math, I can figure out what I've put in here. So this is bananas and bread and more avocados. No water additions this time. So let's see what the weight is up to now. 26.5 pounds. So we've added about five pounds of food in one gallon. And I'll put the metric conversions in there. I'm going to add a little bit of grit because I don't think that avocado is going to be easy to eat. Um, I do tend to forget to do things like this for some reason. But I am going heavy, especially on something that's gonna be as hard to digest as um, the avocado flesh. So hopefully that will be enough food to get them going for the next three weeks or so until I can get back in here again. Here we are, the final weight of 27.1 pounds. 
So if you're thinking this is a very cool experiment, I have a whole playlist just for this experiment, which I will link over there. And if you've already seen that, YouTube thinks you're gonna like that video right over there. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.